Hi everyone and welcome back to Gigi's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love recipe videos like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious slow cooker barbecue pork. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious slow cooker barbecue pork. Now this recipe is really easy to do and after the festive season and all of the cooking I did during Christmas I definitely like to take a break from the kitchen. I love to cook but I do like to take a break occasionally as well and my slow cooker lets me do that. So if you're thinking of investing in a slow cooker, not that this is an advert for slow cookers but if you are thinking of investing I will link mine in the description box below for you but we're going to be having this for our dinner tomorrow so I'm making it the day before and preparing all the ingredients the day before then all I have to do tomorrow is just switch it on at the wall and let it cook away it's that simple and that easy and while I was preparing it and cooking it I thought I'd share the recipe with you so here is how to make my delicious slow cooker barbecue pork first thing I've done is to chop up all of my ingredients so on this board here I have one onion that I've peeled sliced and diced then I have a pepper that I sliced the top off removed the core and the stalk and then I just sliced and diced it and then I have a courgette and a carrot and I peeled and then grated the courgette and the carrot and the reason I grate vegetables is so that my son doesn't find them in his meal and not eat them. Um, when they're grated he tends to not know they're there so it's quite a good way to hide the vegetables if you know what I mean. And it means mummy's happy because she's getting lots of vegetables into it. That's me by the way. So yes, I'm just going to put all of those into my slow cooker and then to that I'm going to add some coconut sugar. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of coconut sugar. If you don't have coconut sugar, then you can use brown sugar. The reason I use coconut sugar is because it tends to hold its nutrients better than other sugars when you cook with it. So it's a lot better at holding its nutrition when it's cooked in like a slow cooker. Um, and then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar as well. So apple cider vinegar is also great for the stomach as well. So if you're suffering with stomach aches, have some apple cider vinegar. And then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of tomato puree as well. So that, one, two, and then I've got some tamari. Tamari is, excuse me, mm, fermented uh, soy sauce. It's fermented for longer which means it's slightly better for the body and it's also gluten free as well and that's the main reason I use it is because it is gluten free other soya sauces aren't but you can use other soya sauce if you want to so yes I'm just using about two tablespoons of that and then I'm going to add in some tomatoes to this as well so I'm just going to add in a tin of tomatoes like so and then to get the juice out of the bottom of the tin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my chicken stock in there. So I've got about 400 mils of chicken stock, which fits perfectly in a tin. And I'm just gonna pour all of that in as well. So that's that done. And then I've got two teaspoons, oh no, sorry, a teaspoon of smoked paprika going in. So I'm now gonna add my spices into this. And this is what's going to give it that barbecue flavour. And then I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of mild chilli powder. You can use medium or you can use hot as well. I'm feeding this to a child, so I don't want it to be too hot. We're still getting him used to spices, I have to say. But mild is perfect for him at the moment. So, And I'm going to also add in half a teaspoon of ground sweet cinnamon. If you can't get ground sweet cinnamon, then you can always use cinnamon, that's okay too. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. 
I'm not going to add too much because as I said, I'm feeding a child this so I don't want to put him off his meal with too much spicy stuff. And then I've got my pork here and I've just got some diced pork that I'm going to pour into the pot as well. And then I'm going to mix these ingredients round and I've also got to go and get my salt and pepper in a moment as well. But I just stir all of these ingredients round in the pot. So I'm going to go and get my salt and pepper. So I've grabbed my salt and my pepper and I'm just going to add some salt and pepper for taste to this. So salt and pepper to your taste, obviously. We don't like it too salty or too peppery in this house, so we only had a little bit. That's perfect for us, but if you like a bit more, then please add it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir those in as well. And then I'm going to grab my lid and I'm going to plug this in. And then I'm going to leave it overnight and hopefully all of those spices will absorb into the meat. And when it comes to cooking, it's going to be beautiful and juicy and so tasty as well. So I'm going to turn this on in the morning. It's the next day now, so I'm going to put the slow cooker on to low for seven to eight hours. But if you wanted it quicker than that, then you could put it on high for three to four hours. So my slow cooker meal has been in the pot for about eight hours. So it's been cooking away for about eight hours and it smells really nice. I've just finished cooking some rice and I'm just going to add some chopped up spinach to this as well. And then I'm going to let this wilt down. And I think I'm going to give it a little try before I serve up, just to make sure it's seasoned okay. So that's wilted down nicely now. So I'm just going to grab a spoon and give the sauce a little try. It smells really good, by the way. Oh, that's delicious. That's perfect. So I'm going to serve up now a delicious slow cooker barbecue pork and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm off to have this for my dinner now and it smelled and tasted so good I can't wait to eat it. So for now that's it from me, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.